Hi guys, welcome to another AllScaleTrek.com video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about basic do-it-yourself lighting. I'm going to take you through a couple simple ways to put lights in your starship without breaking the bank. And we're going to talk about how I lit this USS Enterprise 1701E uh, with just what you see before you, some LED strips and some pre-wired LEDs. Okay, let's talk about the supplies you'll need for this kind of do-it-your-own lighting setup. So the first thing you need will be lights. And you can buy, you can buy pre-wired LEDs. These are set up to run on 12 volts. They already have the resistor attached and shrink-wrapped for you. So you don't need to worry about resistors, voltage values, or anything like that. You're just going to connect those pre-soldered wires to your power source. We also have LED tape, and this is high density LED tape, so it has twice as many LEDs going across. It provides a lot of brightness, and a roll like this will last you a long time. This will get you through three or four models at least. Now that you've got LED tape and LEDs, you'll just need to connect it to a power source. They do make 12 volt batteries. I believe this is a size E23. 12 volt battery. This will power your LEDs or your light strips. You can also run it off of a 9 volt battery. 9 volts will run uh, this kind of setup. And then of course you can always buy a wall adapter, uh, solder that to your model and then you'll be able to plug it into a wall and not have to worry about batteries at all. All right guys, so this is LED tape. The tape I have here is cool white. You can get it in warm white, you can get it in cool white. I like the cool white. It leans a little blue more than kind of leaning towards orange. These yellow squares, those are your LEDs on this LED tape. You'll also see on the LED tape, you have these little copper connectors, little copper discs. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but this one does have a little plus sign by it. This one does have a little negative sign by it. So that's where you connect your positive wire and your negative wire. So this LED tape, you can actually cut it into different sections. Uh, it goes by about three LEDs. So you see I've got three LEDs. Then I've got my copper connectors. And in between those two pairs of connectors is a little cut line where you can cut it. So one, two, three LEDs then another copper connection section where you can cut it in between. So you can kind of cut this up into however many parts you want. So I've got a part here that I've already cut. We're going to zoom in so you can really see it. Um, I'm going to show you how to solder some LED tape. We're going to tape it down in place to hold it there. And we're going to really zoom in here. Here is our positive connector. Here's our negative connector and we've got that marked by that plus sign and that negative sign. Um, so we're going to solder these onto a wire to kind of get it to our power source. Now when you're soldering, you're always going to heat the connector. You're not going to heat your solder. So touch that connector pad, get the connector pad warm, and then connect your solder to that soldering pad. And drop that little drop of solder on. Once again, heat my connector with the soldering iron. Put a little drop of soldering iron on it. All right. Now I've got a little bit of solder there. I've got a little bit of solder on my wire. And we're just going to make this connection. All right. There's our positive connector. and our negative connection. All right, soldering can be intimidating, but it really is that easy. Heat your connector pad, put a drop of solder on it, tin your wire, that's putting a little bit of solder on those bare wires, lay it down, use the soldering iron to melt them together, and you're good. After that, one thing I sometimes like to do is use something like this, liquid tape. It's a brushable rubber cement that you can brush on over the connection, or you can use a little bit of shrink wrap tubing 
to kind of cover that connection up as I've done on this LED tape here. Now, now this was for a, a kind of different project, um, so I didn't mind covering up the LEDs with a little bit of that, um, but it's nice to cover up your connections. Now imagine we've made an LED strip for our starboard pylon, our port pylon. We've made an LED strip to put in the main part of our ship and we've made one to go into our saucer section. The next thing we want to do is start working with those pre-wired LEDs. So those LEDs are pre-wired. They have a resistor already on them under that black shrink wrap. So they can be connected to any 12 volt power source. And one thing that's kind of neat is these connections on the LED strip can forward power another 12 volt item. You can kind of plug LED strips into each other, kind of like you do with Christmas lights. So you can actually plug a 12 volt LED to the end of that LED strip. So we're gonna do that for a second. We're gonna solder an LED onto the LED strip. Super simple. But now we can have a nice red glow from an LED and then another separate color kind of glowing on the rest of the nacelle. All right. Now the next thing you do, you can use you can you can use white LEDs for this or you can get colored LEDs. Uh, but I've got another LED. This is something you could use for a deflector dish. I believe on the 1701E, I have a yellow LED pointed at that deflector dish. So just kind of imagine a ship around all these wires and the cell here this wire running down the pylon, this one and the other one running down the other pylon, uh, this kind of pointing forward a deflector dish, and then a ring of LEDs in the saucer. Your next step is just to get all of those lights to a single power source. So you run all your wires through the ship into one place, and then you're just going to join them together. You're going to want to make sure that you just are connecting all of your positives to each other, all of your negatives to each other. This is gonna be a messy job just because it's for a demo. Um, you'll be cleaner and neater in your own model, I'm sure. All right, these are gonna be connecting in parallel. So we just need every power, every LED to get to the power source. So we're gonna connect all of our positives, all of our negatives, and we're gonna make one master kind of power cord for this. Okay, so we've connected all of our LEDs and pre-wired LEDs together so they can all be run off one source. So we just have the wires from the nacelle connected to our main source, the wires from the main body connected to it, and the ones from the saucer. All of them are going into the main part of the ship and they're all joined together. Then we're going to take it and we're going to solder a power connection onto this. So this is gonna be all of our positive leads have them put together into one place. We're gonna run it to a new wire. And this is all of our negative leads run into one place. Once again, just a demo. So it is a little messier uh, than it will be in real life. But this is what's going on in my 1701E. LED strips, a couple pre-wired LEDs, all soldered to one power cord to kind of go through there. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna quickly shrink wrap those just to cover up that connection. Okay, shrink wrap really is pretty good at covering up that terrible soldering job. So now if we connect this to a 12 volt power supply, either a wall plug, or a 12 volt battery, we will have lights. And that is what is going on inside most of my starships. LED strips, pre-wired LEDs, really simple solder jobs connected to a battery or a power source. Now going back to the 1701E, this model was lit with nothing but LED strips. 
There's an LED strip, probably a little bit longer than that, right inside this nacelle. Another LED strip in this nacelle. In this main hole, I taped the LED strip kind of down, fitward facing, to light up this entire section. And in this saucer section, I've got an LED strip about twice as big. It's right around here in a horseshoe, kind of to light up the entire saucer. So I really just did that soldering job that you just saw me do about four times. Twice for the nacelle, one for the body, one for the hole. And then I took all four of those wires into the main part of the hole. I connected all the reds together, all the blacks together, and hooked it to a power source. And that's really all it took to hook up this model. And we're going to finish off with a couple shots of the completed and lit model, lit with those LED strips. So what do you guys think? Do you use LED strips, LED tape in your models, in your lighting? Do you think they're hard to work with? Do you think they're easy to work with? What do you do in your builds? Let us know in the comments below and please like our video, subscribe to our channel to help AST forums grow as a community. Thank you all very, very much for watching. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.